Oliver, uh, you don't strike me as a Gucci man. Very perceptive, Joseph. Uh, and yet, Caring, the owner of Gucci and other brands, is actually quite cheap as a luxury company. It sort of trades about 15 times earnings. And Hermes, which seems to be more your kind of brand, is uh, <laughs> well over 20 uh, or even 25. Um, why is this? Well, uh, Hermes, which uh, contrary to my parents today isn't about my brand, uh, Hermes is very liquid and very, very upmarket. Um, and uh, so its shares are always more highly rated. But, but Kering is cheap in, even in the context of other luxury companies, the likes of LVMH and Burberry and uh, Salvatore and, and other, other luxury companies trade up towards the 18 to 20 range. So Kering is cheaper. Right. And so today, you know, Gucci has, you know, lost um, a few leaders who had them in the place for about six years. Mm. I mean, what has been going wrong there? So Gucci is the biggest part of Kering. Uh, Kering used to be known as PPR, but it, it changed its name a while ago to Kering. It, Gucci is the biggest thing. It's about a third of sales, but a bigger chunk of the profits. Uh, Gucci's problem is in China. Its sales have been slipping the past few quarters. This isn't high growth or even any growth. This is sales declines we're seeing. Partly it's a shift in um, trend in China. The luxury consumer there moving up market very quickly. And uh, Gucci, very kind of logo-led range in some of their mid-ranges are not quite as popular as they used to be. So that's been a problem for Gucci, and although Gucci is moving its ranges at market, it's mm -hmm. not moving as quickly, perhaps, as the consumer is moving. Hence, uh, they've decided to replace the chief executive and the creative director of Gucci and bring in somebody who was very successful in another part of Kering. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. Bizarri, I believe. Uh, what, well, what was his success elsewhere in Kering? So you run uh, Bottega Veneta, it's another luxury part, a much more upscale luxury part of the, the, the Kering group. Uh, he was promoted earlier this year to be in charge of uh, Kering's whole luxury division. Kering also has more of a lifestyle division, earns a big stake in Puma. But he's been in charge of the luxury bit since last April. It's not so long ago he made the change. So you wonder why they've made another change quite so quickly afterwards. But he comes with a very good reputation. He hasn't announced a new creative director yet. But uh, what I think they'll be looking to do is continue, as before, moving the, the range upscale, but perhaps a little more quickly with a little more impetus. Well, for 15 times earnings, maybe it's worth uh, a bet on the shares. Thank you, Oliver. Thank you.